Hello, thank you for watching. This is Wednesday, uh, February the 26th, 2014. Um, yeah, I have my uh, rubber rain jacket on because I was standing out in the snow this morning. It's actually stopped snowing now and the sun's trying to peek through the clouds a little bit. But um, I think I'm going to take this opportunity to make a video and then I'm going to go and uh, try to post them. So, <clears throat> um, I just wanted to make this video about... Um, sleep stealers or the sleep stealing technology okay in some of my other videos I've mentioned synthetic telepathy implants or the microscopic nano weapons or implant technology so um, this is this is one of the, the one of the functions of the technology is if you're somebody who's generating a very positive energy field in your dreams or while you're awake then uh, what they're doing is they use the technology to push electric impulses into your brain um, not enough to kill you but enough to keep your brain active now if your brain stays active all night long because it's it's having electric impulses driven into it pushed into it with the technology then when you wake up your brain's going to be a little bit tired it's not going to have a full night's rest and so um, this is happening to almost every single adult on the planet right now they're using this technology to steal our sleep to keep our brains awake so that when we are awake our brains are functional but they're not as functional as they should be they're still a little bit tired because they didn't get proper rest the night before so um, this is sleep stealing technology the military refers to it as synthetic telepathy because uh, it does allow people to push images into each other's mind or words and uh, in a lot of cases you know uh, people that have come forward and said I hear voices um, you know some psychologists will say you hear voices you must be crazy we're gonna have to put you on drugs and keep you locked away from the public <laughs> okay I probably looked really crazy right there but um but that's what happens is uh, the whole psychological uh, you know department the whole prospect of psychology doesn't take into account microscopic nanotechnology or how it could be used to make a person say something that would make them seem like they've lost their mind so um, in a lot of cases we've ended up locking people up and putting them on drugs that never should have been locked up and um, and and what they were hearing was actually the implant technology so wow the screen just flashed so I'm wondering if they just hacked into my iPod and anyways um, I just wanted to uh, throw this out there that you know the sleep stealing technology is the same microscopic nano weaponry or synthetic telepathy implants microscopic nanobot implants that um, are connected to our brains and everybody has them every single human on the planet after you're born as soon as you drink water you get them in your body and then they work their way up and connect to your brain so that they can start monitoring your thoughts and ultimately start manipulating your dreams so that they can push you towards being the type of person they want you to be and uh, typically that's somebody who's afraid of things that go bang in the night if you're living in a fear-based um, mentality then you're probably never gonna speak up or step out of the box or try to wake other people up so I'm one of those people that if I'm in a boat in the water and I can't see everybody in the boat but things keep going wrong in the boat like people people keep getting hurt and I can't see who's causing it I'm one of those people that says you know what I'm gonna tell everybody around me to hold on I'm gonna rock the boat and I want to see I want to see all the faces in the boat and when I rock the boat there behind the people that I know I'll see this one face glaring back at me angry because they've been hiding in the boat the whole time creating havoc these are secret intelligence agents <laughs> for lack of better words CIA spooks um, there's also Navy PSYOPs same thing CIA spooks and Department of Defense has their own little spooks that um, they're all using meditation to generate a negative vibration to push out onto the public so I'm trying to let you know that this nanotechnology implant that they're using against us can actually drain your energy and keep your brain from being fully rested 
because having a fully rested brain allows you to have a fully charged meditative experience. So they're really attacking people the most on the on the coastlines where you get most of the sunlight and uh, anywhere where you know where you're getting a lot of sunlight, those people are being attacked. That's coincidentally one of the reasons why they built uh, a lot of their deep underground military bases directly under Indian reservations because the Indians are practicing spiritual techn techniques that involve meditation and uh, and so they want to be able to interfere with those. Um, with those spiritual beings, with those Indians that are doing these meditations and using their spiritual energy to increase the positive vibration on the planet. They're really trying to block them because um, they're actually trying to harm everybody on the planet. I mean, these people are not normal. They're sick. They're mentally ill. And we need to shut down the secret intelligence and the CIA. JFK was going to do it, but these uh, cowardly bastards killed him before he could. So that's who we're up against. That's who's you know stealing our sleep and trying to keep us under control while they push the planet into a lower vibration of chaos and uh, discord. We need to work against this. And so I'm calling out to all meditators to, um, to, to understand that there is technology in your body that is fighting against you. And the, the sooner you understand this concept, the easier it will be for you to learn how to fight and push past it just like anything if somebody's holding you down and they're way stronger than you it's going to take time but eventually with lots of effort and lots of time put into it you will become strong enough to push them off of you um, you may not be able to pick them up they may be too heavy but you might find another way of getting out you might learn how to uh, break their grip by hitting them in the elbow with your head or something you know, there's, there's always a way to throw a person off balance. And the bigger they are, the harder they fall. Just keep that in mind. So put the effort into the meditation exercise. Keep sun gazing. Keep using the light of our star to energize your meditative experience. And the more of us that meditate, the harder it will be for their machine nation to try to keep control of us. So um, that's, that's what this is about, is uh, just to make you aware uh, of the ability for them to steal your sleep and tire your brain out and they're not just doing it for meditators they're doing it even for people that get up and go to work every day because on your drive into work you might get comfortable and enter into a meditative state while you're driving down the road <coughs> I'm sure some people have gotten to work before and said wow my drive in this morning was so awesome I, I just want to leave and go back out on the road and drive around and, uh, and relax and, and drive <laughs> So uh, so you felt so good that you just want to keep doing it. And um, that's probably because you've entered a meditative state on your way into work. And, um, and now you're in a really positive uh, vibration. And the last thing you want to do is sit in an office pushing papers. So um, not that everybody's going to do it, but the invitation's out there. Um, feel free to join me. If you join me uh, here in Woodbridge, Virginia then uh, I will work with you and, and help you to develop in the uh, technique of meditation on light. Um, but be aware that if I detect that you're lying to me or that you're trying to deceive me, then uh, I'm going to reject you. And uh, <coughs> they're already trying really hard to figure out who I am and to find ways to get past uh, my, my bullshit detector. And uh, it's not working. Sorry, occultists. It's not going to work. CIA agents and Department of Defense and Navy PSYOPs, you're not going to be able to get anybody close to me that I'm not going to figure out is one of your agents because normal people are going to have a normal attitude and I can totally detect the negative energy coming from somebody who you have forced to come close to me either because you caught them doing something they shouldn't have been doing according to the law and so now you've charged them and they're doing they're they're talking to me they may be the nicest person in the world but they're talking to me because they were caught because they were trapped by you and made to believe that the only way to get out of this trap is to do what you're asking I'm familiar with that my last girlfriend Jan Wilson they set her up the whole reason she became my girlfriend was because they cut her a deal 
you get with this guy and help us to destroy him because he's going to upset our program of fear and chaos and control over the planet and we'll cut you loose and you won't have to do any time in prison. So um, even though that was the deal, once she got to know me, she couldn't help but love the person that she met. And she couldn't help but expose the fact that she was set up. She didn't even know that she was telling me. So you really can't blame her. She did her best. She tried to do what you wanted. She tried to set me up and destroy me. But it was never going to work. Because I've always known. Ever since high school. When you first started putting girlfriends into my life. And I was like. These girls wouldn't be attracted to me. Why are they talking to me? Duh. And even if they might have been. There's always that little thing. There's always that little thing that's inside them. And no amount of hypnosis is going to be able to hide it. You can't do it. You can't hide it from me. Anybody you put into my life, I'm going to be able to detect them with my bullshit detector. Alright? So, <clears throat> go ahead and try. I know almost every single person that has come out to me and acted interested in the meditation exercise has been sent by you. I can always tell. Anyways, um, it's one of those things. You can detect negative energy from people. Uh, I've run out of time on this video, so be aware. If you're not getting proper rest, it may not be the food you're eating. It may not be because of the hours you're working. It may truly be because your brain is being kept awake by synthetic telepathy implants, nano, microscopic nano weapons that are designed to steal your sleep. Thank you for watching.